Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. Okay. So what we have, we have two matrix D1 and D2, both are defined on same space X. They are given these two matrix are equivalent as well as they satisfy this inequality also, right? K1 and K2 are positive real numbers. And for that, we get this inequality. And we have to prove that these two statements are equivalent. Sequence Xn is bounded in X D1 if and only if same sequence is bounded in X D2. So what will I do? First of all, I will write the given information. We have, this is a very important information. So I'm writing it first. So K1 D1 of XY less than or equal to D2 of XY less than or equal to k2 d1 of xy and this is true for all xy belongs to x okay so this is star this is so much important information for us uh, k1 and k2 are positive real numbers so that is also given thing but i am not mentioning here so we will keep in mind k1 and k2 are positive we are going to use it later now we have to prove that this two statements are equivalent. Xn is bounded in X D1 if and only if Xn is bounded in X D2. So when we have if and only if condition, what we do? First, we assume the first part. That means I will assume Xn is bounded in X D1. We will prove Xn is bounded in X D2. And after that, we will prove its converse part. So let us start. Assume that, assume that what I'm assuming Xn is bounded in X D1. And now our task is to prove that sequence Xn is bounded in X D2. Okay. So it is bounded sequence. What is definition of bounded sequence? When we say the sequence is bounded, if there exists a positive real number M such that D of Xn Xm less than or equal to M. So let, let me use the definition and write. So sequence is bounded. So implies there exists a positive real number M. I will simply mentioning M greater than zero, or you can mention M one greater than zero, such that, such that D one, it is bounded in X D one. No? So that's why I'm using D one X N X M less than or equal to M one. This is true for all N comma M belongs to set of natural number. Okay. So it's a bounded. So by definition of bounded sequence, I could write it. So it is bounded in X D1. Our target is to prove it is bounded in X D2. That means we need to bring D2 here. So this is a given information. This information we have to use to prove this part. Now, what will I do? You can easily see D1 XY, there is K2 as a multiple of D1. So I will multiply both sides by K2. Let us see what will happen. I'm multiplying both sides by K2. So K2 D1 of Xn Xm less than or equal to K2 M1. Again, it is true for all Nm belongs to set of natural number. Here K2 is a positive real number. So that's why if you multiply both sides by k2 same inequality will be maintained let me call it as equation number one okay uh, inequality number one see let us use star now from star let us see what will happen from star see uh, actually three parts are there out of this three i'm going to use these two parts what we have d of d2 of sorry d2 of xy okay but i am writing in terms of sequence so that's why xn xm less than or equal to right k2 d1 of xn xm for all nm belongs to set of natural number the same thing i have written but in terms of sequence see now we can combine these two these two inequalities so from one and two from 1 and 2. So generally, when we have a less than b, b less than c, then we write a less than c. So will you tell me what can we write here? Uh, d2 of this one less than or equal to k2 d1 and k2 d1 less than or equal to k2 m1. So let us combine. So therefore, d2 of xn xm is less than or equal to this one, but this one is less than or equal to 
K2M1. So directly we can write this is K2M1 for all n m belongs to set of natural number. Okay. Uh, the important thing is that K2 is positive real number. Our M1 that is also positive. So if you take the product of two positive real numbers, obviously we will get positive real number. Let us call it as M2. So let M2 is nothing but K2 M1, where obviously it is positive since both are positive because that K2 is positive and M1 is also positive. So yes, uh, therefore we can write d2 of xn xm less than or equal to m2 we have called it as m2 for all n m belongs to set of natural number okay but see this is definition of bounded sequence but this is bounded sequence in x d2 since we have d2 here we had assumed it is bounded in x d1 so that's why we had written in terms of d1 of xn xm but now we have d2 so therefore we can declare therefore sequence xn is bounded in x d2 finish the half part is over so now we have to prove the remaining half part that means in remaining half part we will assume it is bounded in x d2 and we have to prove it is bounded in x d1 right make a screenshot of it then we will go further so star is so much important information for us so that's why i have kept as it is okay star as it is in converse part, we assume the sequence xn is bounded in x d2. So I will follow the definition of bounded sequence. So by definition of bounded sequence, we say there exists some positive real number m. m1, m2 we have already used. So let us call it as m3 positive real number such that such that the definition of bounded sequence says d2 since in x d2 no xn xm less than or equal to m3 for all n comma m belongs to set of natural numbers. Let me call it as this is 3. Okay. Uh, see, star is so much important information. Last time, okay, in first part, we use this inequality. Now, I am going to focus on this inequality, right? So, for that, what will I do uh, from star directly, I can write from star now from star see this inequality i'm going to write but we have inequality in terms of x y we have a sequence so i'm going to write the same inequality in terms of sequence so k1 d1 of x n x m okay less than or equal to d2 of x n x m for all n m belongs to set of natural number this is 4. So let us combine 3 and 4. So from 3 and 4. 3 and 4, right? Uh, yes. K1, D1 of Xn, Xm. I am starting with this one. It is less than D2 of Xn, Xm. And D2 of Xn, Xm less than or equal to M3. That means the first one is less than or equal to last one. So this is M3 and for all N M belongs to set of natural number. I'm going to shift K1 on that side. K1 is a positive real number. So definitely we can divide both sides by K1. Positive, so inequality will be maintained. D1 Xn Xm less than or equal to M3 by K1. So here M3 is positive. K1 is also positive. So that's why the division of two positive real numbers is obviously positive real number. So therefore, I'm calling it as M4. So which is M3 upon K1 greater than 0. The reason is M3 is positive and K1 is also positive. So therefore, D1 of Xn Xm less than or equal to, I'm, I have called it as M4 for all n m belongs to set of natural number. So this is definition of bounded sequence. So therefore sequence x n is bounded in x d1 since d1 we have used. So therefore x n is bounded in x d1. So in this way we proved if the sequence is bounded in x d1, 
it is bounded in x d2 and if it is bounded in x d2 then it is bounded in x d1 in this way we completed this proof make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you